Hi everyone, how are you doing? So last time I made a video about how to apply directly to Newfoundland employers, but I had a lot of comments and messages about how do I actually write a resume or how do I write a cover letter? So today we were going to talk about that. But before I begin, I just want to say thank you to the new subscribers and I thank you for watching my last video and I hope that you find that helpful. Alright, so first of all, let's talk about resumes. So here in Canada, um, we don't use photo when submitting resume. You can also not include your um, age. Um, I remember when I freshly graduated in the Philippines, that was in year 2007, I um, have made and submitted a lot of resumes and that of course include my photo and on my description I said I am a Roman Catholic, I am 5 foot 3 inches tall and uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, personal attributes, that doesn't matter. What your religion is doesn't matter you know as long as you're legal to work and you are qualified that's all it matters so yeah no photo personal attributes not really necessary also when you're writing a resume make sure that it is organized neat clear and consistent when i say consistent make sure that you are using the same um, font size you are consistent at that consistent on the font that you are using as well and so as the format it also doesn't have to be three pages or four uh, pages long uh, make sure that you mind the length um, make it short straightforward but detailed remember you are also sending um, a cover letter with it. So cover letter will explain in detail how your work or past experiences can benefit to their company. Another thing to also take in consideration is that some employers will uh, check your social media. Nowadays, social media is everything. So if you have a Facebook account or Instagram or Twitter that showcase your uh, experience and talent, make sure that you include that on your resume as well because some employers will check on that. So you have um, written your name, your contact number, your address, and if you have a social media account, you have placed that in there. Next would be your strong um, qualification. So you can put in that, oh, I have 10 years of experience strong skills in communication especially in english a great team player or anything that highlights your experience or your achievements if you are a fresh graduate you can also write in your awards your uh, training and all the things that you have done in school um, if you are working um, or fresh graduate you can also write in if you volunteer in your community make sure that you include your volunteer work as well all right and you can also put in your educational attainment if you are a high school graduate college graduate phd or master's degree make sure that you put that in there write the address of your school and um, the date that you have graduated um, don't be so insecure if you don't finish college to be honest with you a lot of employers in here um, do not actually look for that they more look on your qualifications skills or your experience so yes education is important if you want to move up if you want to learn more if you want to get a role that will require you a certain degree of education but for starter level you don't have to worry about that. And lastly, the most important part is your work experience. So make sure that you write in your work experience, the name of the company, the date that you have worked for, and also uh, on a bullet form, summarize your duties and responsibility. Doesn't have to be very long, like I said, just make sure that you are straight to the point. After that, you can include some references or you can put in references upon request. If you are applying for a job through an agency, the agency might already have 
their own format of a resume but this video is for those people that are looking to apply directly to uh, a Canadian employer and are submitting it themselves so now I'm gonna give you an example of a resume I got this from settlement.org I'm just gonna walk you through the resume or the sample resume real quick and then we'll move forward to writing a cover letter. So here's an example for you. You write in your name, your address, phone number, your email address, and if you have a social media account, you can add that as well. Summary of qualification, that's where you add your strong points and summary. Next would be your professional experience. You write in your position, company name, address, and phone number, and of course, the length of your work with that company. And then next is you list down your tasks, duties, and responsibilities. As you can see in the sample resume, there is also a volunteer experience. So that's one of a great asset um, to include education and your reference. And that's it. See, now we will talk about cover letter um, cover letter is very good because this is how you can explain yourself how you can explain your skills your experiences and basically showcase who you are on a cover letter you can write in again your name your address contact number your email address and you can address that letter to the hiring manager or you can just use to whom it may concern um, and then on the subject line it's great if you actually have the job title or the job id number written in there and then first of all, your opening paragraph. The opening paragraph is your introduction. So just make sure that you capture their attention immediately. Um, showcase your experience, tell them why you are the best candidate for the position. Other employers may want to know how you learn the uh, job openings um, from. So you can say that um, I have learned about this job opening from jobbank.gc.ca. I will give you an example of a cover letter, so just make sure that you stick around till the end. The midsection of your cover letter is to explain and be more particular in explaining your, your strength, your skills, and your experience. You can be more uh, detailed you don't have to write like an essay just make sure that you write a very detailed paragraph of your experiences and how you can help and contribute to their company or business the next part would be the part where you'll tell them or you'll tell the employer that you are actually outside of Canada so you can say that I am currently in the Philippines but if I'm given the chance to uh, proceed or progress with this application i am very much willing to gather documents and file my paper so i can legally come and work in canada and then last but not the least is your closing paragraph again one more time in one line just mention to them how you can be or how you can add value to their business or organization after that let them know what is the best way to contact you just in case they need more information or they want to go forward with the application and lastly make sure that you say thank you to the hiring manager for giving the time to review your uh, letter and resume i will be giving you an example again uh, but just remember be concise tailor your um, cover letter to the job description so if they are in need of um, a customer service agent make sure that the words that you'll use in job description and everything is tailored towards that or gearing towards what they're asking for or what they are looking for and also write your cover letter in your own words do not copy paste from from google do not copy what i'm gonna write here because it's just not gonna sound like genuine so make it sound like it's you that is speaking for yourself through that piece of paper okay and then lastly 
proofread your cover letter and your resume make sure that you don't have any grammatical errors you have your spelling all checked out and that's it so now i'm going to give you an example of the cover letter okay so i didn't write this on an ms word i just used my note on my phone but i just want to give you an idea so that's your name in there or make sure that you put in your address i forgot that and your contact details the uh, date where it's addressed to your opening paragraph this is very personal first line it says a young chef always dream of creating their own menu and he tells a story so it makes you want to read more then on the second paragraph he went into more detail of what happened what his skills and experience are And, oh, look at that. I already see a misspelled word there. So I just went back, make sure that I changed that. K okay, to O, because I meant casino. There you go. So in this part, he is explaining as to why he has to leave school and work to pursue his passion. Then after he stated that he is in the Philippines and that he is very much willing to do his own paper so he can legally work and uh, come here and his contact number and he said thank you at the end and there you go now that you know how to write your resume and your cover letter you are good to go look for your employer apply directly make sure that you attach them together and and hope for the best i am wishing you a good luck again thank you so much for watching my video um on the next one we will discuss and what to do when you finally arrive here in canada so watch out for that if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and i hope you have a great day